Hi, I'm Sharon and this is Stick and Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely glittery sensory play mat. This is especially good for young children. Now, my advice is that the grown-up does most of the work here and we save the fun bit, the play, for the children. So I'm going to tell you what you'll need. So, you will need a clear plastic food bag. Unfortunately, this one's got a label part on it, but it's still okay and it still works. So a clear fat plastic food bag that is sealable. That's the really important bit. It must be a sealable bag. Some paint. Some clear glue. Some glitter, glue, glitter paint. Some scissors. An assortment of glitter, a nice assortment here, some various colours, Oops. some small glitter balls, they're very small, there we go, some tape, this is duct tape and you really do need this just to seal your bag at the end, and that's about everything, so I'll show you what to do, so you get the bag, you open it up. Hopefully there's no holes in there. And you pour in some glitter gl some glitter paint. No, not too much. <coughs> Just enough for us to use. And I'm also in this one I'm going to add a little bit of colour. So I'm going to put a tiny bit, just the smallest amount. Of red paint. Whoops, one dollop, as you'll have just seen. It's perfect. Next, we're going to put in some glue. And now the real fun begins. Now this is where your your child could join in because they could help put in the glitter. So I'm going to put in, oops, if I can get the lid off, some of this quite bright orangey colour. I'm going to drop it in, spread it round the bag. And we're going to add some more. So I think we'll go for a bit of silver, not too much, because we've got lots of silver in the glitter paint. It's just that it's a slightly different shade, and it's a slightly different texture because that's good. You don't want anything that's too um, lumpy going in there, or it might split the bag when, when you're playing. These are perfect. Drop them in. And I've got three different colours there to go in. Got some gold ones. And I've got some white ones. I don't know how these are going to work, but I just thought they looked really nice. There we go. Just show you them. They're very, they're very clear looking, very see through -y. Can barely tell you actually they're actually in there, but you will. So we've got some lilac to go in. struggling with this lid today so we might not actually be able to put this colour in. No, nope, we're going to have to leave that one and we'll put the green in instead. Oops. I'll have one more try with this. Oh yes, it's within that there. So as you can see there's lots of colour there. Great. And we might need a little bit more glue. Drop that in. That's mixing nicely with the paint, which is good. No, 
Now, I think that might be enough. Try not to get it on the outside of the bag or it gets all sticky. And we're going to put in some coloured sequins. So I've got a selection of coloured sequins there. We're just going to drop them in. And I've also got these little, they're a bit like emojis. They're just little... we go I'm just going to stick them in got a little assortment there and now we're just going to seal the bag try to make sure we've got all the air out of it got that splurge of colour there and shake it every so often now I think we might need a little bit more glue although I'm trying to spread it around the bag that's it can see all the glitter, all the colours. Now this obviously needs to be play where it's got somebody taking charge and making sure they're there all the time just so that the bags doesn't split. And we've got another bit more, uh, small amount of glue in there. Just going to get some. to make sure that we do have enough. You don't want to overdo it but if there's not enough that you don't get any movement at all. So I'm just going to open that bag up like we did before. I'm going to drop in the paint. Or the glue should I say. <laughs> drop in the glue but glitter paint, if it's glitter paint that's fine. You can top it up with glitter paint. And that is perfect now. So we're just going to seal that up. Make sure there's no air in there. Seal the bag. And then this is where we need the scissors. So. Then to get the tape. Measure it to the length of the bag. That's it, cut it. This is a bit fiddly. So I'm going to start over there and we're going to put it on the end. It's just a little bit short. getting all tangled up so we take the tape we put it on the edge of the bag like so we run it down the seam and we fold it over and that should seal our bag nice and tight now obviously young children might want to pull and bite it so what I also suggest is that you have it on a table or a tray and you tape it down each end as I'm doing Oops. and this one too just going to move that and then you've got your sensory glitter bag with colour. Fantastic. You can have lots of fun. And when you're finished, you just untape it and chuck it away. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed that. Bye.